Welcome back. We have Michael Blackwell joining us on the show from Fulton and Company this afternoon. Welcome to Midday. Thank you. Yes, we are talking today about uh, what's involved in starting your own business. This is something Michael specializes in, corporate and commercial law. The first year of graduates from TRU's law school, in fact. So That's right. it's great to have you here. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so this is what you focus on, people helping business, people build their businesses and make sure they're doing it properly. Yeah, that's right. I help, I help my clients from start to finish and the starting a new business or whether they have a well-established business. Um, and I think sort of the key thing, the starting point for any new business is, and which is maybe a misconception, is you actually don't need a lawyer to get your business started. Um, we often have clients that come to us that are thinking about starting a business and it doesn't end up in a new file or legal fees. I typically tell them to spend their time and energy establishing appropriate business plan and business model. Mm -hmm. um, that's where their energy should be focused at the outset. And that includes thinking about things like uh, product development, um, branding, marketing, staffing, where they're going to locate their business, and of course, uh, legal structure to an extent, which we'll talk about in a minute. But um, those are the key factors that really need to get emphasized on. And it's not until a, a business becomes well established that lawyers get involved with, you know, protecting a brand by way of trademark or copyright mm -hmm. um, or documenting business relationships by written contracts as business grows. Sure. We have two boards. Let's start with the first one. We'll sort of go through uh, step by step. Getting down to business, as mm -hmm. it says. So uh, as you first said, establishing a business model and That's plan. Right. Uh, how do people know how to do this? Uh, I know there's, there's courses and schooling you can take, but if you have a great idea but you don't know where to start, how does that work? Well, I highly recommend that people go and talk to um, a business uh, planner or a financial advisor or an accountant, they spend all their time dealing with these businesses on day-to-day -day operational level, and that's a great resource. And really, it just comes down to, to hard work and research and, and putting your, putting, getting down to working. Yeah, making yeah. it happen. Yeah. Uh, okay, the second point on that board, uh, choose between three main types of business structures. Yeah, so there are three main types of business structures and that typically is where a lawyer will get involved. Like I said, most of the work doesn't involve lawyers, but there are sole proprietorships, corporations, and partnerships. Um, lawyers, we do corporations, that's most of what we do, but I would say with some exceptions, most new businesses will want to start a sole proprietorship, mm -hmm. which simply means it's an individual registering a trade name and carrying on business under that name. That's the most common uh, business structure to get started. Mm -hmm. uh, it's simple, it's easy to establish, it's cheap, um, and really the individual carries on the business and assumes all liability, mm -hmm. which we typically deal with by way of insurance. Okay. And if we go back to the board, one of these, uh, if it's a corporation, I believe, uh, it becomes its own entity. For example, you can't get sued, but your corporation gets sued. Is that how it works? That's pretty much exactly it. So a corporation is a legal entity. It protects the owner from personal liability. And so as lawyers, we typically only recommend this type of structure for high-risk type businesses. So if you're in the construction industry or you have a lot of staff, uh, it makes some sense to start a corporation. Um, but the other issue with uh, corporations or reason for establishing is typically financial. Corporations enjoy a lower tax bracket uh, than individuals. Mm. Um, but that's really only a benefit if there's retained earnings at the end of the year to reinvest in your business, which is why most businesses go down the sole proprietorship route and then incorporate once it makes better financial sense down the road. Sure. All right. Yeah. So that's something you usually graduate to. That's right. Often. Absolutely. And then thirdly, partnership. Yeah. Partnership. I threw that in there. Um, people, you hear about it, getting into a partnership with somebody. It's actually not a legal entity at all. Uh, partnership is just a group of individuals or corporations doing business together, pursuing profit together. Um, so there's really nothing really too special to consider there other than if you're going to get into business with a colleague or a friend, it is really important to document the key business issues that are going to uh, arise during business. And that is who, how you're going to allocate costs, how you're going to allocate future profit. And one that's usually not dealt with is what are you going to do on the breakdown of the relationship mm -hmm. or the sale of the business? Mm -hmm. It's typically something people don't deal with at the outset, but that's the time to deal with it. And it is one area where lawyers can can help out. Mm -hmm. And that's where things can often get messy if you don't have a plan in place, I'm sure. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Okay, the next board, uh, I think we're going to skim over the fourth point, but there was a second board, I believe. Here we go. Establish appropriate financial management and accounting practices. We talked about that. And then fifthly, deciding whether to buy a business, time to consult with professionals. 
Yeah, um, all I really want to say about buying a business, that's a little bit different than starting a new business. So if you're thinking about going out and acquiring an asset, whether it's a business or a vehicle or equipment from anybody, mm -hmm. um, it doesn't really matter, you know, how big the business is, what the purchase price is. There can be complexities involved with that, with assuming obligations and assuming ongoing liabilities. So we highly recommend that if you're going to buy a business, that is the one time to consult with a lawyer. Um, we want to avoid unforeseen uh, financial and tax consequences and ongoing liabilities that you may not think you're getting yourself into, mm. but are there. And uh, it's usually a lot uh, cheaper to consult with a lawyer than deal with those issues and those costs uh, after you've already acquired a business. Absolutely. When you're starting up your own business, it's different. But when you're taking on something that's already in place, you should make sure you know exactly what you're getting into, I'm sure. Absolutely. Skeletons in the closet, right? When you're right. buying someone else's business, you don't really necessarily know why they're going out sure. and uh, why you want to get in. And you mm -hmm. want to make sure you've done your due diligence and that there aren't going to be unforeseen issues that arise. Mm -hmm. Safety first. Absolutely. All right. We've made it through the points. Is there Anything else you want to add? We've got about 30 seconds. I think it's just important that, uh, you know, if you're starting a new business, don't be scared to go and talk to a lawyer. Most of our consultations at the outset are free. I would say majority of the time I recommend clients not engage, you know, formally a lawyer and go out and spend their time and energy elsewhere. Mm -hmm. um, we like to get involved when, you know, things go sideways or things get fairly complex. We don't want our clients to be spending money in the wrong areas. So don't feel, you know, feel free to call the lawyer. You'll get good, valuable, free advice and mm -hmm. can get you started on the right track. Okay, fantastic. Great advice today, Michael. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Yes, Michael Blackwell is with Fulton and Company. If you have questions about starting up a business or acquiring a business, uh, Fulton and Company can certainly help you. That's where uh, you will find Michael Blackwell. Information is on the screen. We're uh, back after a quick break. Stay with us.